Rated E10 for ages 10 and up. Hey, super animals. It's Michael from Pixile here again with Jake to give you an overview of the party animal update for Super Animal Royale. Version 1.9.1 has many exciting things to go over. So let's groove <laughs> right into it. I don't know how it took me this long to discover auto-tune. <laughs> yo, yo, S-A-W, from sea land to the double T, let me hear ya. The wildest end of summer party the island has ever seen will kick off when the party animal update drops on Tuesday, September 26th. But a party is only as exciting as its guests. So to be sure the party animal update has no shortage, the Lab Labs have released 12 new breeds for your favorite super animal species. And yes, I'm gonna list out every single one of them for you right now. We have the Super Caracal, the Super Blobfish, Super Tiger Tiger Shark, Super Gummy Shark, Super Elephant Seal, Super Blue Poison Dart Frog, Super Firehawk, Super Inverted Skunk, Super Flamingo, Super Komodo Dragon, Super Tibetan Fox, and of course, the Super Sekabam Papasis. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> super Sekabambaphysis. You're so close. <laughs> the Super Sekabambaphysis. <laughs> <laughs> the Super Sekabambaphysis, which I definitely pronounced right every single time. <laughs> In season nine, the island super animals are doing what super animals do best which is killing, but they're also doing what super animals do second best, throwing a wild party. The party animal pass includes tons of new party favors, such as weapon and umbrella skins with unique visual and sound effects, the hound dog emote to supply the music for the party, the crocodile club photo booth scene, and of course, the mini croc pet. Just uh, watch your fingers around them. During Season 9, the Party Animal Pass will be available for a discounted price of 550 SAW tickets. And as always, you can continue working on previous Seasons Passes via the Archive alongside the ongoing Seasons Pass. A new Season also means a new Starter Pack DLC, available throughout Season 9. This Season's Starter Pack features a set of Japanese folklore-inspired items, including the enchanting Super Kitsune Fox, Miko Outfit, Kitsune Scroll Melee Weapon, and 600 Saw Tickets. We're so excited to announce our first ever collaboration event. Turnip Boy has entered Super Animal World through a wormhole, and it seems his crimes against animal kind can no longer be contained by his own games. We've partnered with Snoozy Kazoo to bring you a two-week chaos-filled crossover with a brand new event format. There are six challenges to complete to earn all of the Turnip Boy themed items, including ripping up wanted posters found around the island. We've also added a Turnip Boy inspired animal breed to the research lab, the Super Apple Cat. When you visit the island during the event, you'll notice that Turnip Boy has vandalized the Welcome Center fountain. But hey, at least there's new fountain music to listen to. This new track is my remix of the Veggieville theme from Turnip Boy's soundtrack, composed by Jake Okinoth Courier. We're super excited to hear what you all think of our first ever collaboration project and new event format, and are proud to hit this milestone with our friends at Snoozy Kazoo. We're huge fans of the first game, Turnip Boy Commits Tax Evasion, and for any of you who are fans of single-player roguelike games, you should definitely keep an eye out for its sequel, Turnip Boy Robs a Bank, which launches later this year. You may be surprised by what you'll find in the Botanical Bank. As you might have seen in our recent YouTube video, we have amazing new fan artwork to celebrate from the Life of the Party fan art contest. And it's now lining the walls of the Super Museum of Modern Art for you to enjoy in between matches. The overwhelming amount of entrance and sheer level of creativity on display from all of you completely floored us yet again, and it was super hard to narrow down the finalists. So definitely check out the contest website at artcontest.animalroyale.com to see all of the amazing artwork. And thank you to each and every one of you who submitted. Miss McCossum is always looking to expand her catalog. 
or parrot a log? And that means she's got some new saw shop items in stock. You'll be able to acquire a retro themed diner bundle featuring the diner server dress, hat, and milkshake melee. You'll also be able to hit the beach for an end of summer luau with the new hula emote. Next up, we've got a lineup of map updates and quality of life changes to cover. The party's just getting started! Was that? <laughs> okay, I, I swear that's the last time I'm doing that. The Super Sealand Aquarium has some new occupants, with animated jellyfish and new water effects in some of the undamaged tanks that were lucky enough to still have water in them. We've also refined a bunch of other little spots around Super Sealand to make collisions and doorways clearer and overall just nicer to navigate. The Saw vs. Rebellion game mode is getting a soft matchmaking system. Teams are no longer assigned in the lobby based on the order of joining, instead being balanced by player level when the match begins to help make matches fairer. We've also made a bunch of changes to bots to improve player experience, especially for newer players. Bots now aim smoother and with more randomization, and lower level players will find that bots are less persistent in pursuing them. But they still ramp up in difficulty significantly the longer you play to give you a fun challenge. The Zip and Go Throwable has received some improvements, including letting you carry and deploy four rather than three, or up to six with Bandolier. And when you find them in the world, they'll come in packs of two rather than individually. They also deploy faster now with a snappier animation. These are just some of the highlights, so if you want to know everything added and changed in the update, be sure to check out the full patch notes when the update arrives. Before signing off for this dev overview, we also wanted to take a moment to share a little bit of what we're working on next for Super Animal Royale, after the update. You might have noticed that this season is a little more focused on quality of life updates, seasonal content, and new animals than our previous update. And that's because we're working on something really big in parallel for Super Animal Royale. We're super excited about it, but we're not ready to talk about it quite yet, aside from that you can look forward to it coming in 2024. In the meantime, we've packed the schedule for the rest of 2023. You can read about it more in the patch notes, but after this update in the Turnip Boy event, you can look forward to Halloween and Crispermas in the brand new event format, another update in December, and a whole lot of surprises sprinkled in between. We are very excited for all the big things coming in Sara's future, and we hope you'll all have fun this season with the Party Animal update and the Turnip Boy collab event. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you all at the Pop! Hooray!